Welcome back to the Quick Show tutorial, Chapter 6 on the Quick Trace Tool. The Quick Trace Tool is located down here in the area that we call the Quick Tools. Just click on this tab and the Quick Trace function will open. What Quick Trace allows you to do is very quickly trace bitmap images. As it says here in the little information area, Quick Trace works best on business graphics. That means it's the kind of graphics that you would find on a business card or company logos and stuff like that. Things that have strong contrast. Quick Show can work on continuous tone photographs within some degree of reason. But without um, much further ado, what we'll do is go ahead and demonstrate the Quick Trace function. So Quick Trace works just like the other Quick Tools in that there's a kind of a a step one, step two, step three scenario to it. Step one is to open and adjust the image. So we click on this open image. Quick Trace automatically opens up some bitmaps that we have loaded in here and, uh, and that we include with the program. So for example, I'm just going to click on this one. Click OK. In this area, we can review what Quick Trace has done and it instantly turns it into laser graphics. Just like the other quick tools, we can either show it now or we can drag and drop this to a queue for use later on. I'll show you what we can do with this once Quick Trace has traced it out, but in the meantime, let's take a, a look at the Quick Trace in a little bit more detail. So one of the things that we have within Quick Trace is um, the ability to open an image, but also these tools these other tools like color separation, noise reduction, number of colors, and so forth. What these allow you to do is try to get to the, you'll notice that QuickShow automatically picks up the color from the image. Well, the number of colors that QuickTrace will look for is controlled by this number of colors control here. If we reduce that, you'll notice that QuickShow has picked up on fewer colors here as we increase it to four, you'll notice it's picked up this dark blue down here. So Quick Trace uses this number of colors to try to separate the colors out from the image, and that's what it means by this color separation mode. There are a couple of other modes here that we'll get into here in a second. But let's take a look at a couple other images as well. For example, this Rolling Stones logo once again, instantly turns it into laser graphics. I'll go ahead and show that on the laser. This Doors logo, just like that. And when dealing with other types of images, such as this continuous toned photograph that we have here, you'll notice that the color separation mode, it can be used. We're, we're picking some, something up here in the laser, but um, it's not really the best type of tool for this type of job. A better tool for continuous tone photograph is another mode here that we call highlight separation. In this mode, you don't use this number of colors slider here anymore. Instead, you control what we call the separation level. As you move this back and forth, it will pick up on different areas of the image and you can see slight red image here that, that is the, the traced image of where it's picking up in the separation, how it's separating those colors out. So for continuous tone photograph it's best to use this highlight separation mode and you can just try to adjust the separation level for best results. This noise reduction system is in there if you have uh, a very uh, noisy image or something that has a lot of grain to it or JPEG compression artifacts, you might try just checking this box. But Quick Trace is really pretty easy to use in so much that you open the image, kind of play around with the controls a little bit to try to get the best image that you can and show it now or drag and drop it to a queue. So once you have the image actually traced, we'll do that one more time with the 
Rolling Stones logo as well. So I'll click on the Rolling Stones logo. In this case, we'll go ahead and go back to color separation mode and increase the number of colors. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just drag and drop that to a queue. Well, if if that's your main goal is to just trace a bitmap graphic, pretty much that's as easy as it is. Kind of step one, step two, step three. But with Quick Trace, we could actually do a little bit more than that. Because once this thing is actually in a graphic like that and dragged and dropped to a queue, we can edit this. So for example, what I can do is I can click the right mouse button on this and say edit frame or animation because it turns it into a real laser frame which we can end edit using the, the tools that we have here for example I can use this tool here which allows us to adjust the size and this tool also allows us to adjust the position so for example I can just put that there and I can add some text to it for example go ahead and notate that as C world let's say we're going to put that text down at the bottom and make it a little bit smaller like that okay so you know that's one thing that we could do is simply add some text to it of course we can do a bit more for example we can use this area here which will allow us to select an area like that and we can just go back there and resize that or even use this warping tool to warp that around kind of give it a, a 3D look and for this text we can go down here and select this text move it up here and perhaps what we'll do is paint roll that blue just like that of course what we could do is use this in a little bit of a different way we can select the paint roll tooler their paint roller tool and select a new color just drag over like that we show it now on the laser or click OK and so we we can take a logo add some text to it warp it around and so forth very easily for this continuous tone photograph that we made what we could do is let's say we're gonna right click on this say edit frame or animation and although the highlight separation mode was effective in picking up the essence of the image there are some some little spots around here that we'd probably rather not have and so we can use the editor here and say select object and what you do is just draw a little circle around that area we can press the delete key and get rid of it just like that say come up here get, oops not quite that and maybe this part in here and the, the little glints on the lips maybe we like that so what we can do now is we can come in here use the paint roller to kind of update that and so forth So it just gives you an example of how you can quickly trace an image, turn it into a queue, and then use the editor to update that further. So for the Rolling Stones, I'll do something similar. Click on this, right-click, Edit Frame or Animation. What we'll do is we'll come over here, resize this, maybe center it a bit, click on the text, add some text to it. make it a little bit smaller okay and maybe I'll change that to blue I'm not sure what their favorite color is but for this demonstration I'll make that blue and so of course this drawing program not only allows you to draw in it and and edit the thing as well but there's some built-in effects to it like for example if I click on this effect tool what I can do is I can do different effects and, and they will be applied in the form of an animation. So for example, if I say write in, what this will do is it creates all of the in-between frames to make 
this image right in like that so just click OK and what you can see is that you know we took a Rolling Stones logo traced it automatically edited it we added some color some text to it and added a tracing effect just with a few mouse clicks so the quick trace tool is really pretty handy very easy to use and um, there's a lot of a um, lot of things that you could do with it